They have three of their starters are average double figures. They're a good scoring team. The, the guy they bring off the bench might be their best scorer uh, and their senior. So uh, it's, it's pretty similar to the last three games we've played, or last two games we've played with. Uh, they really like to push the ball in transition. We're going to have to do a good job with defensive transition. They, they really rely on dribble penetration. Uh, they've got a little 5'11 guy who can really drive the ball and get to the middle of the floor. And, um, so we're going to have to do a much better job uh, on these guys tomorrow night than we did Saturday. So. Look, is their record an accurate representation of their team, do you think? It's a good team. They've played a good schedule and, uh, you know, played some of those you know, games really well. They had a game canceled the other night, a home game. Um, but, uh, you know, this team, when they get going in every game, you can see signs of a really talented team that's got, you know, real scoring power. Um, and, you know, hopefully we can kind of neutralize that. Looking at their schedule, they clearly play some money games. Are those easy for you to get, or are those still a challenge getting the right day? And what what kind of team do you want to play? Yeah, it's 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 pretty much a challenge. It's um, you know there's a, there's a group of teams out there that uh, that'll come and play uh, without a return, and everybody kind of wants those guys. And we we were fortunate because you know, he played in here a couple years ago and. Um, they were on their way to UCLA. They had a date with UCLA on Saturday and wanted to pick up a game. And the dates kind of worked. So that's how that happened. Is, is there like a website or some sort of clearinghouse where you can go to get games? There's two or three of them. We, we use one from Basketball Travelers, the guys who does our, uh, um, uh, our exhibition games and then our foreign tours. Any more challenging to grow in this kind of game as opposed to you know, playing uh, a top 25 uh, we, team? We've got, we've got a lot of work to do. I, I think that... This team has proven that um, you know we've got good scores. We, we, we can score inside. We can score outside. Um, but defensively, it's a challenge for us. We, um, you know, we had a di really difficult time with Chaz Williams. I thought we had a good game plan to get him, but uh, the 33 points obviously are, are a big deal. But the 15 assists, we had a game plan to get the ball out of his hands, and the rest of the, the team was really good at finishing. And uh, that probably has to do with a little bit of our aggressiveness, maybe our, 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 our reaction time, our foot speed, whatever it was. Um, but, uh, you know, a, a guy gets nine free throws, you know, and, and, and scores 33 points, but it was those assists that really caused us issues. Is that the most zone you think you'll probably play all year? Yeah, we played a lot of zone in uh, Kansas City, uh, and hopefully we can get back to, you know, Played most, you know, this team's played more, a lot more man-to-man -man zone this year, and hopefully we can get back to that. So you're still confident in the ability to play man. We can, we, yeah, when we can get better, we can get way better. The last two practices, our guys showed some really improvement, and, and hopefully that, uh, uh, you know, we'll see improvement tomorrow night. What has Skyler brought to, to the team at this point this year? Well, I think his confidence is is really good for us. He, he plays with a lot of energy. Um, I mean, he can play multiple positions, play the point or the wing. Um, but his ability to attack, get to the rim, score the ball, and then he's he's improving uh, as a three-point shooter. And I, you know, I, I think he's in the two years uh, in junior college was around 42, 44 percent three-point shooter, and I think he has the capability of doing that for us. Got off to a little bit of a slow start, but I mean, he was three for five against North Texas, and hopefully, he can just build on that. Nate seems to really have improved on his rebounding. Is that a, a kind of an emphasis that you told him to? Yeah, his, his role on this team has kind of developed uh, the last three or four games from last year where he's turned into um, just a, a, a great team defender where he understands our, our schemes and uh, he's done a lot better staying out of foul trouble. But his ability to, to, you know, to defend and, and rebound uh, on both ends of the floor has, has really helped us. The, the, when he's on the weak side in that zone, uh, that rebound, if it's a long miss over the basket, is you know we pre become pretty consistent that it'll be our ball. And with Kyle on the other side, uh, those are two really good rebounders that you know can make us better. What do you have to say about Mika's contribution to the team this year? Well, Eric, I think if you take his first five games, and he was re he was good in those first five games, but he's been even better in the last five games, and I think he he just continues to. Uh, 
uh, understand, uh, the, you know, the game a little bit, our system a little bit more, adjust to the speed of the game. But, uh, you know, for freshmen uh, coming in with a lot of expectations and then what we actually needed from him, he's just he's been terrific. We didn't really get to talk to you after the UMass game, so how would you compare that, if it's fair, to the other prime games you've had? Was it a step forward in any way? Was it a well, there's a lot of good things from that from that game, you know, that uh, we can take. Uh, you know, obviously we got uh, ourselves in just a really tough spot defensively, and you know, maybe should have played a little bit more man. We were in foul trouble early, and that caused us to be a little bit hesitant and not as quick and aggressive as. We've been so those are all things that uh, we've watched. We watched quite a bit of film with our team, and um, and trying to compare that against Texas and and Wichita State. I mean, it was it was more probably comparable to Texas. You know, Wichita State played a lot slower, and, and the possessions were a lot longer defensively. These, these guys were quick up and down the floor, and and uh, and just our ability, our inability to to get stops at crucial times. I mean, we came out of the, the second half went on an 8-0 run and cut it to three. Uh, and then the little guy, you know, the next four possessions, as a result of him, they score, you know, and, and uh, put us, you know, back on our heels again. So, um, and then, you know, the, the, the distance and the, the crowd and, you know, all those things are uh, a good experience for our team, but you, know, you want to win those games. You mentioned the, the long distance. Does that give you and the staff a pretty good chance to knock out A&M game plan, even Utah, possibly take a look at them looking just ahead a week? Um, I, I, I would bet that both you know, these guys will tell you because the way it works, it's kind of split up. I mean, you can move a game ahead, but I don't know if you'd move two games ahead. You know? <laughs> it's, uh, uh, but there was a lot of time, and I think most of it went into uh, studying our team and trying to figure out um, different lineups that are, are good for us. Some plus minus issues with which guys uh, on the floor or our team is increasing the lead, and which guys kind of make everybody else better. And those are all things that we're trying to evaluate with this group. And we got um, you know two more weeks of preseason games, and it's time for league play, so it's coming quick. Thank <laughs> you.